So I think teaching is the best way to learn. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through why and how you can do the same to grow your own skills. So teaching, why would you want to teach? I think the real reason is for me in the beginning, I've been doing uh, web crunch for what, two and a half, three years now, not getting paid for any of it. Just, just doing it out of the love for the art and writing and, and recording and, and just learning. Um, the whole concept was mostly to better my skills, but I've always heard from people I admire and who are, you know, further along in their journey that they happen to stumble into teaching or, or um, giving talks or something of that nature. And they found that through that, they were able to um, either, for one, learn, but also help others. And I think when you become an enabler to helping other people, you find yourself more energized and interested in learning and doing better and, and for, learn, you know, making mistakes, but learning from them a lot. So. I think for that matter, that's a great reason to consider teaching so you can learn yourself, but also help others learn the concept of teaching and that mindset at that given moment when you're teaching something, you're probably learning it yourself. And in that case, um, the same people learning are maybe on the same level as you. So they, they want to help or at least be identifiable in the same, I guess, wheelhouse, if that makes sense. So. If they're able to put more empathy and trust in you for that situation because you're kind of in the same boat, I think that you become a better instructor from that from that goal. And that is going to be way more in encouraging from them. So it's the same true. Same is true if like um, there's a teacher at a, a college or a professor or something and you're going to school they're going to be way further along than you. So I don't, I don't honestly think you'll, you'll actually retain that, that kind of knowledge unless you're super interested in it to begin with. If you're just going there to get your credits and get out so you can get your degree, chances are you're going to just feel like it was a waste of time, waste of money. And that's kind of how I felt to be honest. So until I actually applied myself to it, started teaching, started making videos, making content, putting myself out there, that's where I really, learned so that's ultimately why i was able to create a course um that 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 brought me enough i guess confidence to do something like that even though it's pretty scary putting yourself out there so i know it's it's one of those um things where it might be where you're too scared or not not sure you don't have the voice for it the face for it whatever to put yourself out there on camera on screen whatever it is you're doing even if you're just writing content i think the fact that if you're consistent and you're doing it and a will to learn, you're going to already automatically teach others. And I think that's the best way for basically anyone to learn when it comes to accountability. That's also a great reason. So if you at least maintain a schedule and you start getting feedback, like in my case, I started on my blog before YouTube and I was writing and writing, not many people showed up to see it, but I still kept with it. And then all of a sudden I decided to do some video and YouTube really became this new window of opportunity. Um, not even opportunity, but just another audience, someone who is at least someone out there considering like learning Ruby on Rails was my main like need to learn at the time. I was wanting to create an app on the side and it ended up being a crazy experience because a lot of people were doing the same. They wanted to learn this framework so they could create some idea. And I think that's, that's just kind of the way it goes. So until you have that need to teach, um, I think is, is another thing. If you're just teaching just to be a teacher, I think that's a different case. Um, it's become that for me. I'm no longer needing to learn per se. I'm lear I'm still learning of course, but it's not so dire need like grinding every night, every day to learn this thing so I can ship a product. Now it's more of I'm shipping stuff on the side and I'm confident with it, but I'm also teaching through that experience, things that pick up along the way. So hopefully that's been um, helpful if you've been following me for a little bit, but that's essentially why I think teaching is the best way to learn. Um, I think until you put yourself in those shoes, are you really going to be able to empathize with your students or whoever's just on looking to your content? Um, and then this, they'll do the same for you because they're going to be going through a similar experience that you went through or have just recently gone through. 
Um, and it's kind of funny that if you get someone highly skilled, highly uh, niched in an area and they teach, chances are they're not as good as a teacher as someone who's just gone through it. So that, that freshness of having just done it is a bit of an advantage, I think. Um, it gives you that real nitty gritty in, in the trenches kind of feel for those people who are coming into it. They know you can kind of identify things that you weren't sure about, but you know, voice them instead of some programmer who's been doing it for 20 years, just already has all this knowledge. They, they overlook some, certain things, the simple things even. Uh, so that's that's kind of where I'm coming from, and I hope that's been helpful. I, I figured I'd start vlogging a little bit more and just kind of answering some basic questions about learning, uh, programming, development, design, all those things, uh, making products, all that stuff, which is what I'm doing now. So that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.